You asked me once if I had told you everything there was to know about my adventures. Well, I can honestly say I have told you the truth. I may not have told you all of it. Bilbo Baggins, I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. I can't just go running off into the blue. I am a Baggins. Wait! Of Baggins. Bilbo, allow me to introduce Phoebe, Phoebe, Boyle, Dorling, Dorling, Barlin, Bertha, 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 Dory, 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 and the leader of our company, Sorin Oakenshield. To, to tell when you come back. Can you promise that I will come back? No. And if you do, you will not be the same. Hi folks, this is Jason and the picture before you is the great Tolkien who wrote Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and the extracts what I've just played to you are extracts from the new film that's come out called The Hobbit and I heartily recommend that you go and see it. It's full of fun and there's a great uh, plot to the story and there's lots of action as well and I really enjoyed it. I just want to talk to you today uh, about The Hobbit and just relate it concerning Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day today and I hope you've had a lovely time. I've really enjoyed the day. I was out this morning visiting my auntie. I came back and I was with family and friends and uh, we had a nice time until about nine o'clock when I took everybody home and then we just had a couple of hours peace and quiet and just had some time just to meditate upon Christmas and what Christmas means and I hope that you've had a lovely Christmas day today. Uh, yes, I, I did go and see The Hobbit uh, a few days ago and really, really enjoyed it. And the story, I won't tell you uh, the sort of main plot or anything, to, so I won't spoil it for you, just in case you want to go and see it. But the point is they, they were going on a quest. And I was thinking there are two quests that we could engage in today. There is the modern sceptical quest where we go on our quest of life and we believe on the quest that we are in search of rationality and basing everything on reason. But there is no meaning to this rationality. There is no rationality for rationality. There is no rationality for morality and there is no rationality for the meaning of death so we're on a quest but the fundamental questions that we have on our quest about the use of reason the meaning of morals the meaning of life how to cope with death these sort of fundamental existential questions the quest that we go on with reason is not able to do the job the other quest is to believe that Jesus Christ came down, that he was the word of God, that he was God in the flesh and that he died on a cross. 
It gives reason for reason because reason has a purpose. It has a purpose for its existence, created by God and for the glory of God. Second, morality is reasonable. The Bible talks about we should love one another and we should love one another because we were made to we were we were made to to do that to to love and it's the fundamental reality of life and then on the issue of death Jesus conquered death he says I am the resurrection of the life whoever believe whoever believes in me shall not die you know so if we believe in Jesus Christ we shall be resurrected so the fundamental questions of life on our quest we can either do it with a quest of rationality and the belief in pure rationality or we can do it in the belief of Christ and all that he has to offer for he gives purpose to history he gives purpose to reason he gives purpose to morality he gives purpose to death in Christ we have everything and I hope at Christmas you will meditate upon that that Christ is everything to you thank you for listening and I wish you all a great Christmas and I hope to see you in the new year this is Jason Burns from Athanasius TV signing off